What's good, everyone? It's your homie Hermit. We're back with another reaction. This time we have some Brockus Helm. We have Cry of the Banshee. This, I caught one one uh, comment caught my eye. God, I still remember cutting my way into the iron webs of the Spider Queen's huge lair and heard that riff slowly start and get faster. Such a fantastic song in a fantastic game. And I'm like, what game? And then I read the comment above it, Brutal Legends brutal legends i remember that being jack black's heavy metal like you go to the underworld game uh i remember uh the very intro he's a roadie and he's like yeah these guys are playing and then they start singing and he's like this isn't metal <laughs> he's all like disappointed i remember uh i remember when that game was about to come out jack black came in with like fake muscles on in the axe and uh, he came out to uh, MTV Music Awards, MTV Movie Awards, something, something like that. And he like he led the entire crowd in a pray in a prayer to Satan. It was fucking wild, man. I uh, I had a buddy who had the game. I never had the game myself. I was recommended this song because I heard that the bass line is insane. Uh, so let's get into it. The bass didn't disappoint from what I was hyped up. What I wasn't expecting that right there to start up.
I like the ending of it too. The the song was very impressive. I can uh, I can definitely tell why they put it on a uh, video game soundtrack, especially for something like a boss fight, because it's like uh, it was a, it's the same thing. A uh, successful video game soundtrack has one thing in common with a successful uh, hip hop sample, in my opinion. You can just you can just play it for like an hour and you won't get you won't get bored of it. If you can if you can just play it on a loop over and over again like five times and not get bored of it, you got something there for for a video game or for like a hip hop sample or instrumental. You know what I mean? Uh, just because like how many people got I don't know how far into the game that boss was that they mentioned in those comments, but. If you were anything like me back in the day, then you were certainly getting stuck on that boss for multiple days. <laughs> you probably heard that song like fucking 30 times, you know? Uh, it's, uh, for As a song itself, it was very impressive. The bass was cool as hell. The guitar, the guitar solo was really impressive as well. Um, I liked the vocals. I wish they could have been like a, maybe just like propped up a, a bit more above the instrumentals just so you could hear them a little bit louder. But other than that, that's that's my only real like one con that I have to think about for this song. Other than that, I really enjoyed it. The bass was nice and fast, dude. Whenever I hear guys play like uh, like this or like I uh, hear like Les Claypool play, I'm like... Is that like all you guys did? <laughs> like what I get that I get that you gotta play all the time to get that good. But like did you not go party as a kid or something like that? Cause you are fucking amazing, dude. Some people that's all they want to do, and I, I can respect it. Uh dude, I, I really, really dug this song. Technically very impressive. Uh like I said, I, I definitely see why it was selected as a uh, theme, or not a theme song, but as a song for a video game soundtrack. Uh, plus, you know, the I imagine that the soundtrack for that video game was curated by Jack Black. So this was probably his attempt in, in getting a whole new generation of fans into this band, you know? I One thing I love about that dude is... Yes, he's an amazing comedian. He's funny as hell. He can even do some serious roles. But he's all about fucking music, man. He's all about getting getting people into new music. He's he's all about the fans. Whenever whenever you see, like I saw a thing of him with a special needs child and they sang the Legend of the Rent song from School of Rock together. How awesome is that? You know, this song it was a great first introduction introduction into Brockus Helm. I can tell by the bass that this is going to be a band that we revisit. How many times is up to you guys, but I am down, very down to revisit Brockus Helm. Uh, let me know more about the band. I'd love to learn more about the band. Uh, and yeah, just just let me know. <laughs> let me know what songs you guys want me to check out next. Uh, big shout out to everybody who followed from YouTube over to twitch.tv slash hermit and are, is watching the live streams over there. Uh, big shout out to all the Patreon supporters, everybody checking us out on Instagram and on TikTok. We'll catch you at the next one. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.